Hello everybody, and it's iSlime, or the anything dude, back again doing another tutorial in the same day. Wow. Yeah, I know. Well, I said I was going to do Source Filmmaker or Camtasia Studio, and I wanted to see if Camtasia Studio could be recorded with itself, and apparently it can, so that's pretty cool. So anyway, I wanted to show how to animate objects and just still pictures or even videos into Camtasia Studio. This is about Camtasia Studio 8.1 or something along those lines. So some of these things may not be able to be done in a version of like 7 or anything below that. I'm not actually sure. I think 8 was the one that they finally introduced really good animation editing into this software. So, I have brought up my Valve uh, replacement logo for iSlime here. It's a pretty simple little thing. And it's not really that much. Um, this is a second variation where it glitches around this part, as you can see. Um, and yeah, so I wanted to teach you how to animate an object and how to zoom an object, how to change how easily it is to be seen, its opacity, you know, things like that, and change where it is on the screen at what given time. So, there is a tutorial on this that TechSmith has made, but I don't find it very good. They don't explain it very well, they don't explain where to put a point and how to make it longer, how to make it shorter, where your point is going to put the animation, and just things like that. It's not very trustworthy. Anyway, I'm going to put in a picture. I'm just going to animate it into this. And I'm going to make it like pop out of the corner and kind of go back down. So, stick in our card. Tony outlined Peabody. And let's plop him onto the track. It's going to be on the same track that the text is on. This is what this pointy arrow is. As you can see, there is clearly no pointy arrow, but I deleted the fill and all that. Anyway, that's just the text. We can put it on the same layer because nothing else. Like, if this text and the Peabody wanted to be on the video at the same time, if they're on the same layer, that wouldn't be possible. But they're not going at the same time, so we can just reuse the same track. Alright, so, good way to animate this is to set a place for him to be at first. Now I'm also going to put a fade through black so he joins up with our thing at the same time. Looks a little weird that we got Peabody over my little slime logo, but anyway. So we will move him down to this corner. I'm actually going to put him off to the side so nobody can see him. Let's set this animation to be right at the start. So the way to do this is to go to Visual Properties and add an animation. If you do this and then you just move the playhead, it'll be there. But we see a dot there and nothing else after that. What you want to do is you want to delete that by hitting Control Z and putting the animation after the fade. This will extend it from the start animation and just put him there. Now he was there already, but the reason we're putting this animation here is to put a new animation that will slide him in over about here. Now you can see that a new animation was changed. That's because at the new animation, this animation puts him in a new spot, and we just moved his spot. So let's undo what we did. As you can see, nothing happens. Now let's place another point just shortly after. That continues to keep him in the spot, just to make sure he stays in the same spot. And now, let's place an animation quite along on the timeline for how long he's on. Let's place this animation 
or he's here, and he's actually rotated. I'm actually going to drag this animation back to about three minutes. Or three seconds, sorry. Alright, now I'm gonna place this animation. So, what did this animation do? Let's talk about that first. The full animation was play, placed right at the playhead. As you can see, there's an arrow pointing to the main animation. At the end, you can see another dot that goes right to the end of the arrow. If you drag this, this will extend the animation or shorten it, depending on your liking. I'm going to drag it right to the... Oh, sorry. I'm going to drag it right to the main uh, animation of this one over here. This will make it happen during it, so... So make sure to apply it to that. Well, that might not have worked very well. Sorry about that. Let's put that back. Oh, I see. We accidentally put the animation on this one. Well, let's extend that to three seconds, though. Alright, so as you can see, Peabody kind of comes into the corner. It ends at this play. Man, I cannot say what this is. It's just an animation keyframe. It's basically a keyframe. Alright, so anyway, now let's do another one. This one will make him go down here. Let's undo that because that changes the animation we're currently using. If we deselect it, then the animation is set. I'm going to go to about 325. I'm going to add an animation, which makes him go down here. This is going to rotate him a little bit. There we go. As you can see, Peabody kind of sways in and sways down. Basically, really all this is doing is setting where his position will be. And then the end part is basically telling you how long it takes to get to that point. And it makes a crossfade between that and basically just makes a spline curvature to that area. So if we play this now, see he fades in, comes into the corner, just stays there because we haven't actually told him what else to do. From this point on, I'm going to go to the end of his animation. And I'm going to align it right with this animation before the slime starts glitching. There we go. We're pretty much aligned. I'm going to place an animation to about four seconds. Well, four seconds and then about a twentieth of the second. 420. <laughs> anyway, so. Now I'm going to place an animation that he will be down here. If we zoom out, we can do this a little bit better. Place him there. As you can see, he goes there and down. I'll place one more animation at the end. basically tells him to be there. Anyway, as you can see, the animation works. So let's preview this work. <laughs> I mean, it's not very practical for what I'm using this whole video for, but, you know, he's animated in the corner. Now this isn't as good as Premiere Pro, it's not as good as anything else, but you know, it works. Definitely does what it says it can do. It animates something. You know, of course make these a smaller, do little tinier changes to make it look more like a more natural motion, but this isn't an animation program. And you know what I call an animation program? Source Filmmaker. So the next tutorial will be on Source Filmmaker, and 
I don't really know what I'm going to be doing. I might do a little bit of animation, but not much because I'm not really about that. And whenever I animate, it looks like one of those really bad games made on a GameCube. So I just don't. Anyway, so that's about everything for this video. I taught you how to animate an object in Camtasia Studio. Um, this program isn't free, but you can get a 30-day trial for it, and the price of this is kind of expensive for Windows. I think it's about 200 for this program. On a Mac, it's about 100 but for some reason, the program's even better on a Mac. So if you have a Mac, this is a really, really great program, and I believe does all these same things. So anyway, that's my time. And I'll see you guys later for the next tutorial. Bye-bye.